Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Can you guess what the prank is today, guys? I bought a flower and I wrote a little note that says, you are so beautiful and I'm so happy that I met you. I hope you enjoy these flowers. Can't wait to see you again. Boom. Oh my gosh. He's gonna go crazy, guys. Ah, I can't wait. I'm kind of nervous though. But I'm nervous for all the pranks. So I just got off work. I ran to pick this up super quick. And I haven't decided how I'm going to do it. I have to go in and see if he has like any meetings that he's doing. If he has a meeting, I think that I will leave these outside. And then when he comes out, I'll say I'm going to go see if my package is here. And then when I open the door, my package won't be there. But I will have a package. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna put this in here. I'll probably just put it like behind the rose, like that. And then I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna change. I have to like shower off my day because work was crazy. And then we'll get started with this prank, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Comment down below, hashtag Team Marissa. Because we're always getting him with those those heater pranks, you guys. All right, let's do this. Okay, you guys are set up on the other side of the bar. So I'm gonna run the flowers out really fast and be like, hey, I don't know if he's waiting, he's in the bathroom. So I don't have much time, so let's get started. Give you a flower. 
I would never give you the desecrated corpse of a plant. I would get you like uh, an aloe vera or something. An aloe vera? Yeah, they live a long time. They get a lot of utility. They can survive like your neglect of them. Like they make the most sense. Okay, well, I'm not playing a little game. I appreciate the flower. Marissa, this I'll put isn't it in the this isn't this isn't a flower, okay? This is a declaration of war or someone out here saying- I don't understand what that means. Okay? I don't understand what that means. Like, I'm just saying, I would be very concerned now that you smelled this, okay? So either there's someone out there that's just, for whatever reason- Okay, go look, go look if there's someone no, out I'm there. No, I'm saying, if there's someone out there, they're either in love with you, which is beyond my understanding, or what? they're threatening you, okay? Wait, go back. What do you mean it's beyond your understanding? What's beyond your understanding? Someone being in love with me? Well, just randomly wanting to get you a flower, also knowing your address, these are all red flags. Okay, well, I think it was a really sweet gesture. Well, how would they know your address unless they're following? Okay, why do you keep using this, like, imaginative, like, how would they, they? This is you, like, it's not funny. This isn't- Like, are you joking around? This isn't like, me playing- This isn't me playing a game where it's like, I genuinely think you should be concerned that someone has your address that clearly has a vendetta against you. But they sent me flowers. Exactly. So why am I using the term they? It was you. It was Marissa. It was you. Who would send me flowers? Do you know where you sent flowers? Do you want me to give you an example? To someone- a To funeral. someone's house a for their funeral. birthday. For a, a wedding. wedding. We have a misunderstanding here about what flowers are for. Flowers, Day, flowers and Father's gold Day. coins are for the dead. Gold coins? Yeah, you put them over someone's eyes okay, so they I'm have tickets for the ferryman. I'm, I'm not, not playing, playing a game. Someone's clearly stalking you with malicious intent. Or what? you're cheating. What? These are the two options. Okay, I don't know what I is. Well, I know you're not cheating. Like, I trust you more than that. So clearly someone wants you dead. Okay, is it you? Do you want me dead? Because you seem to know a lot about flowers. Like, well, is yeah, some of kind course. of sick Marissa. Halloween trick that you're playing on me. Okay. I've read a lot of the Greek Gatsby. I know about overt affection, and I also know how you die afterwards. Marissa, let me see that. Why are you... Okay. So... I'm... You literally just broke it. Well, yeah, because this is this is stupid. Like, I don't know who got this for you, okay. but it's not It's you. Stop no. messing around. No, I don't know who this is don't... from. This could be like a mix of alchemical flowers okay. to hurt you. Don't break my flowers. I know you got them for me. I didn't get them for you. Who else would get them for me? Who I else? don't know. Isn't that the question? This ominous they you keep referencing clearly must be. Oh ominous. my god, I'm referencing the ominous they because you are referencing the ominous. Marissa, I don't put your hand on your don't I give don't me an I don't have okay. the time for this. Okay. You I don't, don't have the time for this. I don't have the time. I don't have, time, I don't have for time for your imaginary lovers or your fictitious villains get rid of the toy flower. Toy flower? Yeah. What, does, what is that supposed to mean? I mean, I don't know who bought this for you, but first off, this is clearly like the bargain bin. It's slightly wilted. Also, it's one rose with some accoutrements. Like, this is stupid. Like, you get a bouquet, obviously, for an enemy or a girlfriend. Okay. You are being absolutely insane. Okay. So, that's what I have to say to you about it. Someone, it's literally a real flower. I know it's a real flower. But okay, so why'd you say toy flower? Because anything that's not okay is clearly for children. Okay, can you just like drop the act? Like I'm not playing this game. And I know you bought I, me the flower. I understand you're not playing a game, okay. but whoever bought this for you is playing a game. Okay, I don't... Preach. I Preach to what? I don't know what that means. I don't know, but I'm having a cup of coffee because you're stressing me out with this imaginary foe that you oh have now. Okay? Ugh. So. For five seconds, could you just not drink a cup of coffee? For five seconds. Marissa, you got me stressed out. I don't know who delivered this to you. Okay. It was you. It wasn't me. It was you. Marissa, I've been just fiddling around. So you're saying house. that you're a bad boyfriend then? How am I saying I'm a bad boyfriend? Because you didn't buy these seems, flowers and like another person did. I Well, first off, I'm saying if I'm the bad boyfriend, does that imply the existence of a good boyfriend or a second boyfriend? Oh my god. Yeah. Or Don't do that. Don't do that. Marissa, Stop. I'm telling you, you should be concerned for your life. This is clearly a death threat. Okay, well then, here, you want to smell it? No, I don't smell want, it. I don't want your... Smell your, it. No. What's the issue? 
cute. I'm not saying there's snitch on your Okay, let go of my flower. Thank you, of my toy flower. Okay. All I'm saying is, let me, let me demonstrate something for you. I won't hurt the flower, let me just borrow it. Okay. Okay? This is the type of flower, like, let's see. Okay? This is what you give if you're like four to, a, you know, another four year old or something. A four year old or, wouldn't go to the store and buy a flower and give it to another four year old. Some people have fancier Valentine's Day celebrations in elementary school than I do. Or, or, the, or, I do now. or imagine this, okay? Where is your funeral? In the grave, right there with your body. That's, that's my grave? That's the farewell to you, right there. Okay? To your relationship or to your corpse. You do some thinking right now. You do some thinking about your enemies and your lovers, Marissa, because this is a threat. I know, I've gotten several in my life. Flowers as threats. Okay. I think you should get rid of it. I'm not getting rid of it, I'm putting it in a vase. Or burn it in the front yard, symbolic of the fact that you're accepting this challenge. Big brain. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. I have like a little, I guess like swallow the wrong way. Maybe that toy flower is poisoning you. It won't be the first thing in my life to try and poison me and it won't be the last. Remember when you threw um, a crab leg in my chicken tenders and I was like, I'm allergic to shellfish and then instead of saying, oh, I'm sorry, you started eating my chicken tenders, saying I couldn't. It's that kind of poisoning right okay. there. Okay. This is malicious. Well, this is not malicious. Do you want to know why? Why? Because you've been caught by a smooth criminal. No, no. Never do that again. First of all, that's not how you do it. <laughs> it's you've been struck by. You. That's what I said. No, you said you've been caught by. <laughs> That was absolutely, oh my god. You've been caught by a smooth <laughs> criminal. Stop hiding things in the bar. You know I don't look up here. This <laughs> whole thing is covered in dust. It is. We have to clean this actually. This is really dirty. So sorry that you got pranked yet again by the glorious hashtag Team Marissa. This isn't even a prank. I thought your life was in danger. You think my life's always in danger. When you're cool, your life is always in danger, Marissa. Aww. That's why I'm constantly in danger and you're sometimes in danger. That's a smooth criminal. Whoosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You played yourself, kid. Peace out.